Hello, this is Rich Lavens from Eurotherm by Watlow, and uh, had a customer call the other day and said, Rich, you know, this is so confusing to me. I have got wires running all over my page, and, you know, I got a bunch of blocks and a bunch of wires. It's kind of hard for me to, like, envision what's going on here. So I have a couple of tips for you on this, and uh, these tips should work with any Eurotherm uh, instrument. So this is a 3500 series, but whether it's a Nanodac or an EPC 3004, uh, an EPAC or an ePower for that matter, really any uh, instrument that uses the graphical wiring, you can use this tip on. So if I look here, I have some alarm blocks going through. So one of the tips is up here. If I create a compound, click there, it actually opens up another page. We'll right click on there and we can rename this. So we're going to call this on my other monitor. We're just going to call this alarm page. So there's an alarm page. Now we're going to go back to the top so we can grab all of this and drag that into the alarm page. We'll reposition it. So now when we come here, we have something that looks like this. So coming out of the IOPV block, we have the same two process values coming out, but now they simply go into an alarm page. So the other thing you can see is if I open that page, you see these little uh, tags here? So the wires themselves now get switched to a tag. So that's another little trick. So again, if I grab a wire, left click and drag, I can reposition the, the wires. Again, maybe clean that up a little bit. However, if you have too many wires and it's confusing, if you right click on a wire, you can click an option called use tags. So we'll do that here. So what it does is if I hover over that tag, you can see they both turn pink. So there's the beginning and the end, beginning and the end. Um, sometimes you may have a hard time picking up on that. So let me grab this block. I'm going to drag it way down the page here, come back. So again, where, where is that now? If I right click on that tag, I can find the beginning of the tag, or I can find the end of the tag. When I click end, it should kind of come down and put you in the right area for where that other side of that tag is. So, um, couple little tips and tricks. So we'll do that again. We'll right click on this one, find the end. And again, it kind of takes that and sort of puts it in your field of view. So you can see where the, where the end of that tag is. If you don't want to use the tags, we kind of do the same thing. Hover over the tag, right click, and we'll just uncheck that. And it puts the same wire right back in. So anyway, a couple little tips for you guys and gals out there. I hope you find this helpful. But if you have any questions, drop us an email or give us a call. Thank you so much. Bye.